Yeah, it's tough to know. I mean, we're missing something. I just don't know what... It's tough to know... We don't know what it is to complete the fire engine, or the, 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 the fake fire engine. Was there anything here other Welcome than... Back. Oh, wow. ma maybe we need There's a siren hat. Maybe we need, we, we need a siren hat. I'm sure he'd be much happier if he waded back into the dating pool. Hey, mouth breather. Because we could put it on top Get of the to fire work. engine. No, oh, you can't talk to him about it. Why I would need more than one wad of wacky putty in a lifetime is beyond me. Yeah, the fact that we haven't used the putty yet makes me think that we do need to use it. Either we need to label the fire engine or get that. I don't know. Can we, like, take it off his head with the plunger? <laughs> That's not gonna help him. Uh, would you like a pizza card? That's not. Here, he needs to pick up women. Hey, Romeo, if you really want to pick up women, take off that stupid uh -huh. hat and there give this go. book a try. Do I have to read there it? There we go. No, Brainiac. You beat women over the head with it, and then you can pick them up and take them home. Whoa-wee! I'm going to score better than Greg Norman on a super putt with this. Here, have my Discotronic hat as a token of my appreciation. Hey. Oh, yeah, he is a big Thanks. Nice. And me without my can of lice be gone. <laughs> hubba hubba. All right, cool. So it was weird because that wasn't a hot spot, so I didn't really make note of it at the time because it wasn't a separate hot spot the way the spark plug was. Oh, yeah, Baby Huey here needs all the help he can get with women. He can walk around Times Square with a hundred dollar bill sticking out of his fly and not get lucky. Hey, mouth breather. Get to work. Hmm. Okay. All right, so hopefully this is the last thing we need for the fire engine, for the gas tanker. No, ugh. He just left the scene. This way. We did, yes, we got 100% dildo completion. Yeah, Barbara. It's a good reminder though of it, isn't it? I love that sound effect. This will be a nice touch. That's also what Uncle Saul said. Now it's got emergency vehicle written all over it. Just like my inflatable sausage. Now we're in business! Alright, he seems to think it's ready. He seems to think it's ready. So, I forget. How did that fire start again? Oh dear, I'd really rather not. Remember, you took the museum curator's oath to advise and inform when you took this job. And besides, if you don't do what I say, we'll get to wrestling. Oh dear. All righty then. Oh dear. Oh dear. My trees. My trees. The fire's going. This is going to be a good one. Well, get in there and inform the masses. Okay, he's gonna drop this. Thing. Let's get this puppy into position. So he had the keys for it the whole time. I don't think I've seen this truck before. Just hook her up and let's go. The teacher might be watching. Live for the Action News Network, this is Duck Man reporting from. <laughs> what happened to the woman? <laughs> wow, the whole cabin bird did. Hope you're proud of yourself, Duckman. The trade papers love you, Ducky Hauser. Here, take a gander. Oop, sorry. Holy smokes, I'm on fire! Here he is, here's the man! Woo, woo, woo! Good work, Duckmaster General. You the man! I called over to Paramount and you're in. Go for it, dude! Oh, thank you. All right, we're next for now. F, what? Nice, nice. All right, so can we get on the lot? Hey, Manny many folds, go on and check your stinking list. You know what's gonna be on that high and mighty, dearly beloved piece of crap sheet of paper? My name, me. No need. Just got in a memo saying the list has been discontinued. You look honest <laughs> enough. Go on in. Look at the list. Look at the list. 
Look at it! Or I swear by all that's holy, I'll squeeze the cream filling right out of you! Oh yes, here you are, silly me. <laughs> right between dangerous psychopath and raving lunatic. Go on in. What the hell are you staring at? W will it kill Lily? Will, will it kill us? Away from home. It doesn't look like things have changed much since I've been gone. Those Star Trek freaks are still filming on the next soundstage. Beam them the hell out of here, Scotty! King Chicken, please report to... Is this thing on? What? Yeah, I turned that knob. Hey, hands off! I was gonna eat that later! <clears throat> King Chicken, please report to your trailer and pick up the intercom. That is all. Over and out. Another payphone. Better be that insipid arms dealer. Oh, dread. What's that combination again? Yeah, what is it? No, you moron. I said I wanted Soviet tank missiles, not Alaskan king crabs. Buck, buck, buck. How am I supposed to conquer the world? Bucket of seafood. Give your nephew a job, she said. How much trouble could he cause, she said. Oh, well. Bucket of relatives. Whoa, that was close. He almost saw me. All right, let's get a new save in here. Uh -huh. Happy land. It's a public telephone! It's teeming with more germs than Dennis Robbins' pillowcase! Yeah, I never did see uh, the Duckman show. So this is my first introduction to the characters. 25 cents to make a stinking telephone call? That's too frickin' much! Why, I pay less than that for a night of tawdry solicitation. Is the phone book a different item? It's a public telephone! It's team. 25 cents. No, it's not. Okay. That's King Chicken's roast. Did you get his combination to enter this trailer? What the hell? King Chicken's got a 50-foot trailer. I can't believe that. When I was still on the show, I only had a 10-footer. I was the star of the stinking show. If I still had a contract, I'd tear it up and renegotiate. Yes, he did. Crab cakes. It's oh. locked. And 36, 24, and 36 isn't the combination. All right, so we do need the combination. I thought he was going to, like, take a look at it. Uh, or Sea King Chicken opening it. All right, find out combo for King Chicken's trailer. Maybe we're gonna need like a telescope or magnifying glass or something to to see. Oh, or we could maybe oh the imprint thing. Will that work now? There's no time for that now. The game's afoot, or something like that. Yeah, you can't use it on the thing now. All right, it's a combination. Okay, you turn it. I thought it might be a keypad and we could get his like thumbprints on at least the numbers he used or something. All right, so we're still gonna have to do that. Um, all right, what directions can we go in back here? Ah, this is where the magic happens. The place where dreams come true and fairy tales come to life. Oh, wait, I'm thinking of Siegfried and Roy's pool house. These are just the Duckman show and Star Trek sound stages. No, I should probably keep a low profile. I learned that on a television detective show, you know. Not my show, of course. Yeah, the whole the whole cast uh, lent their voices to the game, with the exception of Jason Alexander. Uh, apparently, there were five episodes worth of dialogue, and he think he thought it would put too much of a strain on his voice to do it. I guess in the one or two days, however long they they recorded the voice acting for the game, which I'm guessing is, was probably only one or two days. I've done some of my best work on these stages. Well, if you don't count the medical film I made in Cal couch. I am Joe's prostate. Oof. No, I should probably keep it. All right, so we can go here. This is the Star Trek. This is the Star Trek uh, stage. Why, it's my favorite cranky old stage and crappy O'Malley. How are they hanging, crappy? They're twisted and hanging on the ground, you punk. Now get the hell off the stage. Crappy, it's me, Duckman. The real Duckman. Don't you remember me, old timer? Of course I remember you, you leaky colostomy bag. 
You still owe me 50 bucks. And can you old time a crap? You know perfectly well I'm only 29. <laughs> Damn job, idiot. Now get the hell out of here. They're not filming your scene yet. Choke on your own bile, you old fudge pot. Nah, blow it out your pie hole. <laughs> Who's eating Pepto Bismol? I don't like your questions, and I don't like you. Get out of here! You see this later, you crank spanker. I'll call you when you're on. Now get out! Yeah, looks like he's downing Pepto. Alright. So where's the... Go this way. Oh, but there's no exit off of here, is there? No. Alright, well let's see if we can, I guess, call for pizzas. That's the thing we could do. Everything on it. Onions, pepperoni, sausage. Buck, buck. I want every single topping. I want the world! And send some extra napkins. King Chicken, please report to your trailer and pick up the intercom. Oh, it is? It was Tim Curry. Mercilessly torture gate guard. Now, what's that bucking combination again? Yeah, because he did the hell guy. The, the the hell robot thing. Yes, what is it? Buck, buck. No, you mini pie. Buck, buck. I did not order a pizza. I've got to find a way past that lock. Okay, so that'll be a way for us to... I think we need, we're going to need some sort of... Um, yeah, like binoculars or something to actually see him entering the lock. That, that'll that be the way for us to get him to actually enter the lock in, for sure. Okay. And uh, what happens if we call the uh, sex hotline <laughs> from here? Not a chance in hell. The only way this number will work with a payphone is with an armored car full of quarters. 1-900 numbers are meant to be called from the privacy of your own home. With the curtains drawn and the lights dim. So the damn neighbors won't keep calling the police. Okay, I'm thinking we could probably raise the volume of the voices at least a little bit higher now. Although that's gonna be max, but all right, we can always turn it back down if we need to. Like the music is just so overpowering. All right, um, we can't go anywhere up here. Oh. All right. Oh, so that's the entire studio, huh? Wow. All right, let's talk turkey, Tubby. If you hit me again, I'll report you. Go ahead, and I'll report you to the National Association of Pathetic Cop Wannabes. <laughs> You're just jealous. Chicks dig the uniform. All right, I take it back. I think it was better. I think it was better with it a little bit lower. Man, can just not cannot find the right mix of volume for this game. It must just me must mix poorly because before it was sounding too soft. I don't know. Uh, that's just way too low. Do you have anything to say to me now that you've been put in your place? Leave me alone, you macho brute. I bruise easily like ripe melons or Grandma Moses. Do you have anything to say to me now? Okay. All right, yeah. Uh, can we talk to Cornfit now that we have access to the lot? It's a dinky little trash can. Goody! Thank you for the raid, Yodi. Welcome, everybody, to Duckman. The graphic adventures of a private dick. For those who don't know Goaty, he's doing the Mega Marathon, playing all Mega Drive, maybe even Genesis, games currently playing. Was it Dragon Slayer 7? Is it 7? Yeah, please. Quack, quack, quack. Center. Duckman, have you gotten into King Chicken's trailer yet? The answers we're looking for have to be in there. I'm working on it. I could use some help here. I can't come out of hiding yet. You have to hurry. 
All right, so yeah, I think we need some way to magnify to actually see the combination that he enters when he goes in there. Wow, three playthroughs of Gabriel Knight 3. Wow. Yeah, I've never seen it at all. Can we go here to the burned down cabin now? I'd better not. The fire inspector might still be around. <laughs> yeah, we committed arson. Uh, gasoline on the fire. Hey there, buddy. Thanks again for that groovy book. Chicks no longer confuse me. Now it's only traffic signals and pay telephones, right? Yeah, for those coming in from Godi's uh, channel, or even the ones here, um, even folks already here that don't know, apparently uh, Duckman was a cartoon show in the mid-90s. Duckman was voiced by Jason Alexander of George Costanza Seinfeld fame. Uh, I had never seen the show before, but this game is obviously based on uh, that character. Or, I'm sorry, the, the show series. I think it was released like right after the show went off the air, too. Oh, Glauspin knows, Glauspin knows Duckman. Yes. Yeah, there's a game. One you know. What do you think? I'm ignoring you, Mr. Nobody. I'm in Oh, you'll be singing a different song when I'm back on top, you little toadstool. Uh, J Max plays E. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Adventure Quest. Yeah, I love the first two Gabriel Knight games. Um, I know the third one isn't as well regarded, but I am a little bit curious just to see what it's like. Hunt down show episodes? Um, maybe. I guess it depends. Are they available streaming anywhere? Oh, it's on YouTube. Well, there you go. Yeah, I might just check out. I might check out an episode or two. I mean, there's definitely been some some funny lines in the game for sure. Greetings. Greetings. All right, I think we're done with him probably. Huh? How about some service here? Yeah. Come on, Chop Chop! My name is not Chop Chop, it is Hung Ro. Keep up the racial serams and I'll sew your miserable little beak off. Okay, so I think we're done there. I'm just, I'm just going around to see if there's anything new. Because again, we need that sort of like magnifying glass type thing. Something. Alright, we'll pause for buys here for binoculars or magnifying glass or probably not magnifying glass telescope something like that um, wow look at these cat eyes <laughs> that could help us see hmm. yeah we haven't seen anything in the game like that is the problem So, all right, if it's not magnifying glass, or uh, binoculars, because we have to zoom in to see these things. So yeah, maybe, that's what I was thinking about putting the impression, but it's not really a keypad, it's a, it is a, a combination lock that you're spinning. Mm. Just want to take a visual look. Is there any way to get in this garage door? Says there's no way in. It's hopeless. There's no way in. It's hopeless. There's no way in. Yeah, that is a strange thing to be saying since there's a garage door right there. Yeah, so apparently that this game is like not it's the home game. So it's like I mean I didn't know about until you picked it, I'd never heard of Kingdom of Loathing, but um it's not like the base game. It's something else. Okay. <laughs> yes, you're hallucinating. You're hallucinating. All right, so we can't go to these two places. Uh, I don't think there's. Welcome back, buddy. Thanks to you, as soon as I get off work, I'm on my way to Chick Central for a heap and helping of low down dirty loving. You are one pathetic little freak. TMI, man. I don't know whether to pity you or feel sorry for you. TMI. Baby Huey here needs all the help he can get with women. He could walk around Times Square with a hundred dollar bill sticking out of his fly and not get lucky. Yeah, but is it the game that you guys are thinking of though? Because it's it's it was a different entry on Moby. There's Kingdom of Loathing, and then a, like a year or two later, this Kingdom of Loathing the home game comes out, and that's the adventure. Hey, mouth breather. 
Oh, it's the other game and choose your own adventure form. Oh, I see. Okay. Got it. Yeah, Jason Alexander didn't want to do the voice acting for the game. Too much of a strain. Alright, so maybe there's something we could do with, um... You may pass. Thank you. Yeah, and you may cuddle my can. So maybe there's something... Well, once we go into the stage two, we can't do anything, right? It's just automatic. Yeah. He's gonna call for Get out of here! You're seen as later, you crank spanker! I'll call you when you're on. Now get out! Yeah, okay, so we can't do anything in there yet. This is, there are no different hotspots here. It's the Duckman Show and Star Trek sound stages. We can't. I guess this is the Star Trek one, but we can't go on. Go there. No, I should probably keep a low profile. I learned that on a television detective show, you know. Not my show, of course. Okay. I'll bet the answers to all my problems are in there. Well. Not the runny sore problem, but everything else. See, the weird thing is we can't apply anything to the door. So, I think it, it's got to be some sort of, like, zoom-in close-up situation that we have to do. That's King Chicken's Roast. Once he goes in to enter in the combination. It's a public telephone. It's teeming with more germs than Dennis Robbins' pillowcase. 25 cents to make a stinking telephone call? That's too frickin' much. Why, I pay less than that for a night of tawdry solicitation. Meh. Alright, is there any way we can make it ourselves? No, it doesn't look like we have the... Impre the, impre the impression has to be using something. Impression with the gum? That'll accomplish nothing, quite frankly. Yeah, we have not used the gum at all, huh? It's locked! And 36, 24, 36 isn't the combination. Okay, I just want to make sure there's nothing else we could do here. Alright, so let's look at this again. I, I think he enters the combination. Uh, are we able to do anything while he's while he's going in there? Maybe we... Yeah, well, we have to, right? Just see if we can Dog do anything. Tales, pizza? This is King Chicken. Send me a number nine pizza. Buck, buck. That's right. The Genghis Khan special with extra pineapple. King Chicken, uh, please report to your trailer to pick up the intercom. Oh no, you can't do anything. Everyone's gonna pay. He looked at his foot. Ah, his foot. Yes, what is it? No, you ninny pie. I did not order a pizza. So we put the putty on the step, probably. I've got to find a way past that lock. All right, is that a hot spot? No, get out of the way. Each and every day, King Chicken yes. waddles up and down these steps. That is a hot spot. I never have a flaming bag of dog do when I need one. All right, there we go. Easy enough. See, I thought this had to be used somehow, but you can't target the door. I hope King Chicken makes a good impression on this. Huh. Oh, he's just like standing upright. No problem. All right. Uh, pizza card. All right. Now we got him. Dontails, send me a number three pizza. The Alexander the Great. Buck, buck, and hold the black olive. See, I like how they changed the dialogue. It's just a nice little touch. He orders a different kind of pizza. King Chicken, I hate to say this, but please report to your trailer and pick up the intercom. I'm really sorry, sir. Step on it, what is this, a fucking joke? Some infidel let the likeness of my most hated foe upon my buck, buck doorstep. There we go. I've 
pressed you, Duckman. I stopped you flat. <laughs> Chickens and ducks, mortal enemies. What? No, you nitwit. No, pizza. The only thing I've ordered lately is your wet and painful death. The combination that he had written on his foot is now in my hand. Now to find out what that heel is up to. This place reeks of evil. Either that or King Chicken had the fish for lunch. All right, take a look. King Chicken uses this phone to help hatch his half-baked evil plots. I'd like to yank this thing out of the wall and wrap the cord around King Chicken's fat neck. But I'm too afraid. Not of King Chicken, but of Pacific Bell. Oh, yeah, fact, Bill. Wow, when King Chicken decides to make a date, he doesn't fool around. Wow, so is the is the new uh, Duck Man is like uh, just made into this huge guy out of these like fake robot parts? Is it some guy in a suit? In a suit? I should trash all this junk. That would teach King Chicken a lesson. But not like the lesson Mrs. McPhilbrain taught me in the eraser banging room back at Rasburn Junior High. Oh, baby, she made a man out of me. Whoa. I'll never forget that cute way her Adam's apple used to bob up and down when she said my name. What? <laughs> what? Okay, is this a different hot spot or no? Wow, when King Chicken dis- Okay, you know, it's not. Let's see what sort of evil King Chicken is up to this week. Arch villains always lay out their evil plans go. on drawing boards like this. Let's see what that tub of corruption King Chicken is up to. That's a complete robot. The New Duck Man, episode 123, scene 14, Kill Family. He's insane. He's got a season pass to Looneyville. King Chicken is planning on killing my family on stage in the very next scene. What are these little pin things? So that explains why he makes so much damn, damn. noise when he walks. The New Duck Man is a killer robot. He's got a machine gun built into his arm and a beak full of bullets. Scene 14 is now filming. All actors in scene 14, please report to the stage. 14? That's the scene where King Chicken's hunk of junk robot is programmed to kill my family. I've got to stop this now. Get your feathered keister in here, Duckman, and be quiet. Your scene is next. Does he not realize Look that we're like everybody, known? and that means you, Miss Claudette Colbert. This is the new Duckman show. Episode 16, scene 14 tape is rolling, you rotten sons of bees. While the new duck man is off saving the world, let's spend some quality time together. Yeah, turn on the TV, Ajax. Oh, okay, probably a good idea to save here, why not? <laughs> I don't think so. If it's the last thing I do, I've got to stop it. So here's this probably where we use the remote. This unrealistic depiction of an ultra-violent situation. Well, there's irony for you. The violence on television is drowning out the violence in real life. What am I going to do? That thing's a killing machine. I'd have better luck tackling a Sherman tank with a Phillips screwdriver. Only a truly valiant soldier would swallow a hand grenade to save his platoon. I've got to win back my family's love and respect. After I save them from certain death, that is. All this violence is probably making you children hungry for the magic that is Bill Moyers. Put on PBS and <laughs> Bill Moyers. If I go anywhere near there, I'm a dead duck. If I'm going to rescue them, it's going to have to be from over here. All right. Remote it is. The animals have orange vests. Let's see what this does. Changing channels on the television isn't going to do any good. Oh. I've got to try to change that killer's channels. Crime is the end. There we go. TV. Oh. Ajax, this is quality family time. Turn the television back on. <laughs> Fortunately, through divine intervention or just dumb luck, that didn't happen. Oh, wow. 
the new Duckman is off saving the world, let's spend some quality time together. Yeah, turn on the TV, Ajax. So that's almost kind of like an in-game death, isn't it? Sort of? Maybe? It's kind of like you fail at it. All right, so let's take a look. So the remote didn't work. Or, I, or maybe it did, but we instead of hitting the power button, we hit something else. Interesting. And the other thing is, I don't think we've ever used the gum. I don't think we have. We've used everything else, but maybe not the gum. Let's try the remote again, but this time um, try hitting one of the, like, changing the channel buttons. I'm so certain. A charge that size isn't capable of yielding an explosion of that magnitude. Good idea. That was less than stimulating. That was boring, anyway. My brain thanks you, Ajax! Good idea. The blood is flowing back into my brain. Alright, that's not really doing much. Fortunately, through the... Okay. Yeah, I think they're kind of like deaths. Cause... While the new Duckman is off saving the world, let's spend some quality time together. Yeah. Alright, maybe... I wonder if we could do it with the camera? Turn off the camera. Are we able to turn off the camera? You can also sing. No, you can't. Oh, the lights. Yes, the lights. You sing the lights. Hollywood's finest tungsten magnesium sodium arc lights. Bright enough to make even Ernest Borgnine look great afraid. There's a quiet, elegant beauty in a semi-trailer loaded with explosives crashing into a 40-story building. It's too bad those lights are up so high. I'd love to drop them down on top of King Chicken's killer robot. Uh, I was thinking of singing again. There's a killer robot trying to kill my family. The last thing I should be doing is play with lights. Oh, oh come on. Well, I thought if we would sing, the lights would like crash on him or something. Could throw the wrench there. Suction cup. This wacky putty is very forgiving. Everybody makes a good impression on it. This is just empty air, right? Yeah. It's a pack of Dento Fresh Chewing Gum. Each stick is individually foil wrapped from eye protection. Okay. So maybe it's the remote, but maybe it's a timing issue. Maybe we have to pay attention to the timing of that. I'm just going to try the gum because I, I can't remember using it. Well, that's not going to stop. Something will, though. I'll need this to have you. This. Oh, I think we have no to do fear. that. I was watching that. Put it back on. I was emotionally involved. Fortunately, through divine. So I think we might have to do something to the family first, then turn them off. Maybe we turn off the TV and then... No, oh no, he doesn't want us to turn off the TV. But it looked like it was a timing thing because... Maybe we just have to do it early enough that we can turn it, turn it off multiple times where they get like fed, the family gets fed off and pissed, pissed and they don't try to turn the TV off anymore. Only a truly valued Repeats. No, no, let's not give up yeah. yet. Turn it back on. How do they not notice through shooting? Okay. So I think it's part of the solution, but it's not the full solution. Is off saving the world. Let's spend some yeah. Alright, what are the other hotspots here? If any. They have to hear him. They have to hear him shooting. Okay. So it is a timing thing. I think they need to hear him shooting with the TV off. Oh, but that also turns the robot off. 
Ah. Uh, I don't know if we can execute that timing then. Uh, what if we like threw something? Wrench or the trash can? Crime is the illness, and Dr. Uzi has just opened up a free clinic. Okay, there's like a delay too. No, no, let's not give up yet. Turn it back. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Because there's a delay until Doc Man actually hits the power button. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, maybe we do need to get to PBS and yeah, hugs. Be careful there, please, with the uh, the spoilers or observations. All right, so it's probably a, cha need this to have a channel changing deal. Maybe it's because we took too much time doing some other stuff. While the new duck man is off saving the world, let's spend some Yeah. Yeah, it was like Hugs was kind of trying to lead me into the I'll need this. So she's changing it. There has to be something better. Than that. There has to be something better. Than that. Maybe I wait for her to say about Bill Moyers. Yeah, it's Fortunate just not changing the channel. Intervention or just dumb luck that didn't happen. Well, you're pointing it out to me because that's While the. the new duck man is off saving the world. Let's spend some quality time. I'm focused on the other things going on here with the lights and the timing and so forth. Yeah, so I think I'm going to wait to hit it for the I'll first time until she mentions Bill Moyers on PBS. There's a quiet, elegant beauty in a semi-trailer loaded with explosives crashing into a 40-story building. Maybe that'll... This mining of violence insults my intelligence. Yet, at the same time, it's rather soothing. Did that only happen if the TV goes off? Let's just see. Bill Moyers come in. Only a truly valiant soldier would swallow a hand grenade to save his platoon. I mean, All this violence is probably making you children hungry for yeah, the magic that is Bill Moyers. Put on PBS, eh, Jax? But it's not Bill Moyers. Intervention or just dumb luck that didn't happen. she said turn on Bill Moyers, but then they didn't actually like it just continue with the violence. While the new duck man is off saving the yeah, turn on the TV, Ajax. Oh, the deaths haven't been. <laughs> All right, yeah, I don't think I don't think it involves any of the other items. I'm kind of doubting that. I think it's just the remote. Hunting would be more fair with the animals like orange vests, scotch, and guns loaded with cop-killing bullets, too. Changing channels on the television isn't gonna do any good. I've gotta try to change that killer's channel. That's the weird thing, because if you... This also changes the just opened up a free clinic. There has to be something better than that. I'm gonna try combinations of this. Ah, there we go. Changing up the lights. Can't anyone build a reliable robot assassin anymore? 
floor. Off the plan B. Woohoo! Cold hands, King Chicken. The least you could do is buy me dinner or a car. Oh, stop resisting me, you little regrets, and come with me. You have this coming all through the game, King Pain in the ass. Here, take that, and that, and some of that, and add a pin to that, and stir. Wow, where's all your big talk now, King Pow Chicken? Duckman, stop the insanity before I slap you silly. It's me, Corn Fed. Corny? But King Chicken, the kids, and Bernice! Well, the kids, anyway. King Chicken has taken them captive, Duckman. They've gone next door to the Star Trek stages. Let's go, pal! Don't we get to see the other Duckman? Judging by their trajectory, they're heading into a low Earth orbit. We've got to go after them. But for the first time in my life, I can't think of anything because I've got this stupid Kenny Loggins song stuck in my head. Leave the thinking and the drinking to me, buddy. Corny, look sharp. I've got to get up there after King Chicken and rescue my family. Think you can figure out those controls and launch me? Duckman, your newfound heroism is both stirring and oddly exhilarating. Clearly recent events have triggered a metamorphosis of sorts, allowing previously unseen facets of your persona to trickle through like the beads of sweat on the back of a freshly aerobicized Jane Fonda. Climb aboard, partner, and leave the launch into me. Alright! I took charge of the situation, came up with a plan, and it worked! And now here I am, 20,000 miles above the Earth, with probably three seconds of oxygen left and no way back down. Maybe this taking initiative crap isn't so great after all. Curse you, Tony Robbins! <laughs> okay. Alright, let's get a new save in here. Yeah, it's yeah. almost like television. But not quite. I meant I wanted to look at it. There it is. The Starship Enterprise! The ultimate geek magnet! I've got to get over there and rescue my family. It's either the Starship Enterprise or a cartoon drawing of the Starship Enterprise. Why does it I should get over there and investigate. USS CH? I can't get there. Okay, it's so the same hotspot. Love the Paramount connection. Okay, so we need some way to... Uh, oh, the, the aerosol can, which is just air now. I don't stand a chance of doing anything of the sort from over here. How do we... Oh, just in space. There we go. Okay. I am being so capable today. I see a problem and bam, I solve it. I feel like an action hero. Oh, you mean like that Bruce Willis? I love his movies. And that wifey of his really gets my crank to spinning, if you know what I mean. Spare me the details, Buck Owens. Hey, you're that sign repairman yep. that I... Yep, but don't worry. I'm not sorry at you for launching me into space. It's the best thing that ever happened to me. Well, since I've been up here, I've made a tidy bit of money repairing busted down satellites and such. I just fixed up an orbiting death laser. It's been acting up a bit. Look down there. See where Canada used to be? Oh. So, what are you doing now? Working for King Chicken? Sure I am. I'm doing a little fixing and cleaning up on his ship. It's kind of in a sorry shape, what with it being just an old movie prop. Wow. Hey, how's it going, Durga? <laughs> the duck swimming motions. This bug-specked window looks like either the only way into the ship or Bill Murray's face. Glass must be distorted, because on the other side, wow. I can see an amorphous humanoid blob. Either that or the glass is clear in its Ajax. Huh. Ajax? Is that you in there? Let me in! Open the window! Oops. Nope. If it's not chicken fried or about country music, he won't even notice. If you're so clever, have you figured out why we can breathe out here in space? I was wondering that. Oh, that's easy. See, we're in a geosynchronous orbit above Hollywood. Technically, we're still on the Paramount lot. Convenient, huh? Quite. You and I need to have words, Flash Clueless. I'm on a job here, and I'd back off if I were you. I belong to the Interstellar Repairman's Union. And let me guess. If I keep bothering you, your union president is going to fly over in his little Jetson ship and vomit acid on me. If you're lucky, that's all he'll do. 
Hmm. All right, so we got to get the squeegee to clean off the window. It's a squeegee and a bucket of warm, soapy water. To be honest, I was hoping for Tang. I'll take Tang. I'll take this. I'm the kind of guy that's always running into something that needs a good scrubbing. Like those filthy Wickersham sisters. America's filthiest Siamese strippers. Yoink. I kind of want to look at this first. It's a bucket of soapy, lukewarm water. Wasn't he in Star Wars? Waka waka. This should do the trick. And out here, there's no chance of an old lady in a 72 Dodge running me over. Let me get you a dollar for your trouble, outer space homeless person. Hey, Jax! Good to see you, son! Now get the hell out of my way. Hey, spaceman. You look eerily like my former Don. Only you don't smell like old liquor. Hey, Jax, it is me, you ninny! I am your father! No! Now you're gonna cut off my hand with your lightsaber, evil spaceman that looks like my Don. Hey, Jax, I'm here to rescue you! Where is everyone? And where's that tired handbag, King Chicken? You mean that fiendishly clever handbag? King Chicken's a lunatic, son! I've warned you about admiring madmen ever since you came back from Montana. Whoa. Let's see. Bernice, Grandmama, Charles, Mambo, and Ajax! Huh. Something's wrong here. Don't tell me. I'll figure it out. You! I should have known. Aha! Uh -huh! I knew it! You silly, stupid man. I can't believe how naive you are. But King Chicken wearing a disguise. Who would have figured? Duckman might have suspected, of course, had he ever taken the time to watch his own show. That was sarcasm. Duckman viciously mocked King Chicken in high school, and apparently that festering ball of hatred finally erupted, prompting King Chicken to destroy Duckman's life and family. King Chicken? You fiendish master of makeup! You'd think I'd be wise to your disguises by now. You mean, after that incident of the parking lot behind the Rumble Lounge in Bakersfield? That was you? Hmm. You can really get a groove going. Now wait a minute! F fool! I'm teleporting your family to the four corners of the ship. And then I suppose you're gonna set the ship to blow up before I can rescue them. Actually... <sighs> I hadn't thought of that. Excellent suggestion, though. There is apparently more than shredded newspaper in that misshapen skull of yours. Computer, begin self-destruct sequence now! I'd rather not. Can't you two boys just talk things over? <sighs> no arguments, computer. Blow up the ship now! Well, uh, I mean, not right this very second. Uh, give me a minute to get out of here. Oh, all right. The ship will self-destruct in 60 seconds. Please fasten seat belts and place tray tables in the upright position. Good job, Duckman! And this should make retrieving your family a little more interesting. Or at least a bit more control. <laughs> Farewell, Duckman. If I didn't despise every fiber of your being, I think I'd actually miss you. But I do. So I won't. Ah! I can't believe this! That bottom-feeding jackal has gone too far. I've got to see if I can get the teleporter controls to work. Alright, well, let's save. I don't know if they actually have us in a real time limit here. I doubt it, but... We can't take that chance. Engine detonation in 30, maybe 40 seconds. I haven't been paying attention. Yeah, see? <laughs> this thing doesn't have an owner's manual in the glove compartment, but how hard could molecular disintegration and reintegration be? Yeah, how hard could it be? Engine detonation in 14 seconds. I swear, you humans must sit around and say, I'm bored, let's self-destruct the starship. King Chicken shot this thing full of lead. I hope it still works. A fork? Ajax this ship will self-destruct in 60 seconds. Or is that 16 seconds? Dang, can somebody get me my glasses? 
Let's see if I can teleport in Ajax. Oh. My teeth have eyes and my knees can see. Ajax? I can't leave him like this. He was hard enough to buy clothes for before. This unit is currently experiencing technical difficulty. Please return in original packaging to manufacturer. Bernice. I suppose I should see if I can teleport in Bernice. Although there's a part of me that wants to beam Susie's saddlebags into the center of the sun. Except then the galaxy would stink of burnt bacon. That really big blast I've been telling you about, the one which will blow the spit out of this ship and everyone on board, will occur in a matter of seconds. A way to go, you hands-on exhibit of incompetence! She's even more annoying this way. It's time for her to go. Self-destruct in 20 seconds. 21 seconds. 22 seconds. 23... Wait, I'm going the wrong way again. You are. You are. Grandmama. Grandmama should be easy to beam in. That's almost an improvement, but I can't leave her like that. A breach of the matter antimatter containment field is imminent, and you all know what that. Awesome. Repairman. Why not? Let's see if I can beam that hayseed repairman in here. He might be able to help me. Ooh. What in the name of Bob Fela's checkered undies is going on? Wow, talk about having your yin up your yang. This transporter keeps shorting out. I'll try to get you back to the way you were. Are you loopy? Like this will be the best dang repairman in the galaxy. Getting into all those little hard to reach spots will be a snap now. Don't know how to thank you, buddy, but let me start by having a look at your control panel there. Yep, this thing's shot. But I think I can get her up and running. Just let me scout around and get some spare parts. <laughs> yeah, I think I got what you need to fix her up right here. We're all set, buddy. Why don't you just go ahead and beam your family in here? Knock yourself out, Roy Clark. Fire away! Repair of transporter circuits has realigned self-destruct sequence. Overload in 15 seconds. Quick, everybody! There's a subtle craft over here! <laughs> Picks up the couch. Or the armchair, whatever. Wow, Bernice. Strength. What the hell is going on? You stripped the shuttle for parts? You melon-headed corn cop snipping dung heap hopper! You took apart our only way home? Hey, I don't need to stand here to get insulted. So long, and thanks for the anomaly. Since we're all going to be dead soon, there's something that I'd like to share with all of you. Night fever, night fever. We all want to do it. There. Oh, not now, Ajax. In fact, never. For the first time in his wide enough tissue of a life, your father is going to do something besides being a drain on society. So how about it, Duck Man? What are you going to do? Engine overload will take place mm, right now. I think you'll all agree that this is a stupid way to die. Everyone jump on Grandma's chair now! <laughs> it's like bobsled pushing or something. Fellow Control, thank you for the follow. We're still, we're still going here. All right, here we go. Let's get another save. Oops. Yes. Forget that old stuff. Okay. You guys don't blame me or hold me responsible for everything that happened, do you? I'd hate to die with that on my conscience. Shut up and do something, Duck Man! This isn't all my fault. If you hadn't abandoned me for Robo Duck, we wouldn't be here right now. You're pathetic. Why well, don't you get us out of this mess? All right, so what do we have that can uh, slow our descent here? Can we make some sort of parachute type dealie? Uh, we have, we still have the aerosol can. I don't know if we could 
maybe blow bubble? Yeah, probably it's gonna be blowing it's bubble. A pack of Dento fresh chill Let's try that. I got us into this mess. Now let's see if I can save our skins. Well, I thought we were gonna be blowing a massive bubble. But we're just cushioning the fall. Oh, because of the tin foil, it's protecting us on re-entry. <laughs> have a robotic assassin kill Duckman's family, she says. You'll have ultimate revenge, she says. Good advice, mother. This situation is cloaked in irony. A latex form of our most dangerous enemy actually embraced us in his arms for a most comfortable landing. Is it getting cold in here? Is hell frozen over? Did Duckman actually do something right for a change? Choke on it, birdies! I saved the day! And since it'll probably never happen again, I intend to make the most of it. Alert the media! It's time for a press conference! I'd like to thank the members of the press for getting here so quickly. It's a lucky thing that there's a bar just down the street. I'm certain, now that I'm back on top, that most of you are sorry for all the rude and ridiculing remarks made at my expense. Personal apologies can be emailed to me at www.suckduck.com. <laughs> my life has forever been changed, and my errant ways mended. Yes, I'm determined to become a better father and a more conscientious provider for my family. Or at least I will be in a week or two. For the moment, I've got a lot of catching up to do, and a spoonful of urges to get out of my system. Be careful, Duckman. The saucer is precariously balanced at best. If my former arch nemesis, King Chicken, wasn't currently flatter than my date for the senior prom, I'd actually thank him for giving me this second chance to realize just how carnal and wasteful my life has been. I dedicate the coming weeks of substance abuse and womanizing to his misery. That's bigger than the whole lot. All right, that's it. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's the Clark Kent guy. Dante in hell. What was his name? Hung Lo. Programmer check you. Woo. And grandma. Wow. So re really, that was a really funny game. I mean, obviously on the shorter side for sure, but uh, puzzle design was mostly pretty good. There were a couple of issues with like hot spots and stuff, but uh, good art. Yeah. <laughs> pretty funny. Um, The sound mixing had some issues, but on the whole, pretty enjoyable game. Again, short, but sweet. And there you have the whole bowl of hominy. That's the story. Not exactly Theodore Geisel, but then again, this story has no star-bellied sneeches. Which brings us to the present and what I'm doing on this battlefield. In a foxhole, alone, scoffed and ridiculed by a nearby patch of pussy willow. But as Generals Patton, Westmoreland, and Electric were fond of saying, Hey, whole hog, it's my turn to frolic. No fairsies. Or perhaps Colonel North put it best when he said, What are you doing in there? Making bacon? Hurry and get out. I'm in the next scene and I have to search my inner little soldier. You'll be searching for an organ donor in a moment, son. Now the Duckman sets are being rebuilt. Paramount is holding us all to our contracts. Bernice is executive producing a new sitcom called Who's That Bitch with Tony Danza and <laughs> Suzanne Summers. Wow. Ajax is doing voiceover work for an animated series about voiceover actors who solve crimes while they're not busy in the studio. And Duckman? Well, he's starring in the next three Corman films. Not Roger. Harvey Corman. Not too glamorous, but it beats working the exchange counter at We Got's Tissues. It's true. 
Bernice is executive producing a new sitcom called Who's That Bitch with Tony Danza. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the lab called with your results. Expect painful urination. <laughs> Sorry. Welcome again, feathery one. <laughs> Totally, uh, f Are these real words? That is most amusing. Your face does indeed resemble a festering sun. <laughs> One from column A. Pick up from column B. I have too much paper here. Wait a second. I have a great amount of paper. Okay, very good. You heard him. It's time for you to go home and weep into your lazy, silky, ladylike pink pillows. I just... Ladylike. Ladylike. Ah, shoot. Oh, my name is not Chop Chop. It is Hung Lo. Let's get to pumping. Let me tell you, that string is a special string. You pull that string and you hear things you never heard before. You hear things. You hear what people are thinking. That's the so powerful a string. Yeah, it put me in a nervous hospital. Mm-hmm. Told me I was well. Indeed. Now you will be appropriate. Oh, I'm glad we understand one another. But now it's the three foot no, Repair of transporter circuit has realigned self-destruct sequence. Overload in 50 seconds. I said 50. I'm so stupid. I feel like a computer. Program me. It's time for my 50,000 gigabyte service. I am now rebooted. Think of me as your own human laptop. I'm seeing an image here, duck man of my dreams. An image of you ten years from now. I see you standing next to a microphone. And you open your mouth to speak. And you say, would you like fries? Ah, oh, f***. But the new duck man is trusting me to get his new take. F Hello, I'm Willie Mays. These are blasting caps. Do not touch them. If you find them, call a policeman. That's just dandy. First he moves in on my TV show. Now he's moving in on my very own selection of pre-stained thick child pack. <laughs> you know, Fluffy and Uranus's house is a candy-coated ray of sunshine in an otherwise bleak and desperate world where people will gun you down and rip your eyes out so they can sell the red of the outer Why, it's the same shape as the glowing ship that used to hover outside my bedroom window when visit me. As a trouble. That would probably violate the frickin' Prime Directive or something. And I've got enough problems without a bunch of... Yeah, yeah, it was a good game. Good game. Funny. Funny. And made by the same guys who brought you uh, Beavis and Butthead. Do you? Now, the, have the whole cast but Jason Alexander. Bye! Alright, that's it. After five hours, Duckman has been quacked. We rescued our whole family while foiling the new robotic superhero Duckman. We have foiled King Chicken, I'm guessing, not for the first time. We're off starring on a new show. Duckman shall quack again. Yeah, so good. good game. I enjoyed it. Thank you, uh, Pint, for the pick. Another five Cedrics to all of chat courtesy of Knox. He's again quack 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 quack. Yeah for some reason produce it's funny. Yeah I, I am uh, I think was it dark or I can't remember someone asked me earlier has playing the game got me interested in the series uh, watching some of the TV show because I never did see it uh, back when it aired in the mid 90s and I guess yeah, probably the answer would be yes uh, especially if it's just freely available on YouTube. Um, yeah, I'll check it out. I mean, I was I was impressed with the uh, the humor, so uh, yeah, I'll give it a look. And it kind of, you know, 
it's uh i was actually surprised because again i knew not i i kind of vaguely the character looked vaguely familiar but i knew nothing about the show whatsoever didn't know that jason alexander voiced it didn't know that it was so i was actually very surprised when the game started with like the the humor was very very risque and raunchy i didn't i didn't see that coming at all i just didn't really go in with any expectations which is really like a great way i really enjoy going into games not really knowing anything about them which is um rare thing I, I mean it's one thing to go in blind but then when you also have no idea what you're getting into you have a fun fun thing like this so that was really cool so thank you guys yeah short but uh sweet so definitely um definitely recommend this one yeah we're out of here we're out of here we're out of here duck man until the next time so the show itself lasted i guess four seasons um I mean, it was on the USA Network, so it wasn't probably, like, widely seen, but I'm curious whether, um, was it, like, canceled, or, yeah, I'm curious why it stopped it for four seasons. Ah, but I guess cartoons in those days didn't really last very long. I'm even thinking of, like, A Tiny Toon Adventures only lasted three or four years, too. So maybe, yeah, I have to think about it differently. Yeah, and Blazing Dragons, that's a great point, uh, El Yeah, Blazing Dragons, um which was also made by uh, Illusions Gaming. Uh, I think it's on our viewer queue and it's coming up um, in a little bit. I think it's like top 10 of the viewer queue, something like that, Sharpie picked it. Although he's really been the only one really supporting it. Yeah, so that'll be, that'll be kind of fun to check out too. All right, so all that said, let's head to our Hall of Adventure. Number two. To add game 239, Duckman, the graphic adventures of a private dick. Although, yes, I agree, it would be funny if it were the private adventures of a graphic dick. But, yes, we'll add Duckman and put him up on the shelf. 